Hey, what's up guys? I Tech World 11 here, and this is my full video of the top 5 features missing from iOS 7. So the first feature is in the keyboard. Now, the keyboard itself for iOS 7 and all the iPhones, iPads, and iPod Touches are not bad keyboards. They get the job done and they're fine, but there's one feature that I loved when I had my jailbroken iPhone and something I've been using a long time for Android, and that would be the swipe keyboard. Now, this is really cool. It essentially just allows you to type very quickly by dragging your finger across the keys and allows you to create words just by that. So you see here I'm demoing it on my Nexus 7, and it's a super cool, convenient, and fast feature. It really just allows you to have simplistic typing. It also looks really cool if someone just watching you type like that. They might ask what you have and you just you know feel a little better because the keyboard looks really cool and it's just a really functional feature that I definitely like having. Now the next feature is widgets. Now the closest thing to widgets would be the clock because it does update in real time and also the calendar app shows the correct date. But there really isn't any other widgets and Apple could have put widgets with the iOS 7 or at least on the iPhone 5S which the much power, much more powerful processor. So again, this is something that Android has been having for a long time, and it definitely is another really cool feature that I like. Android widgets are really simplistic and easy to use, as well as reorganize, move around, resize, and delete. So widgets are a really cool way to stay up to date with different things. As you see, just on here, I do have some different news widgets, battery widgets, and different widgets just like that, which really just add to the overall feel and functionality of your OS and it's a really nice feature that I wish Apple would have included. Now my third feature I want to show you is sharing options. Now if you want to share something on iOS you get message, mail, iCloud, Twitter, Facebook, and Flickr. Now these aren't bad sharing options and it's a good amount to at least have but really on Android you get almost infinite it seems. Any app that you have you can potentially share it to it and you can see a long list just right there and that isn't even all of the features you can use. So here I want to show you a, a article I have open in the Google Chrome app and again you can see all the different features and different sharing options that you get with Android and that's really cool. The next thing would be web browser capabilities and this has to do with Apple not being open source. So you see right here if I try to download an APK and I click download it just won't do anything and also another feature I don't like is that you cannot have flash I just wish that Apple would allow you to have this setting to turn flash on or off now if I go to that same thing on my Nexus 7 Android tablet and I download it it will actually download so I can download and sideload applications on Android which is something Apple could only dream about right now now my final thing I want to talk about is skins themes and launchers now right now I have a Nova launcher on my Nexus 7 and you can download a bunch of different launchers, themes, and different settings just like that. Something you can do on a jailbroken iPhone and something that's been on Android for a while. So see right here I have an iPad launcher. It's not very nice, but it gets the job done if you want to kind of look like an iPad. But overall, it's just really cool that Android has that. And I wish that Apple would have different skins and themes. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, subscribe, and comment your top 5 iOS 7 missing features. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.